Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see the rank transform of an array problem which is from lead code number 1331 and this is based on ranking of numbers. Let's look at the problem statement. In this problem given an array of integers ARR, replace each element with its rank. The rank represents how large the element is. The rank has the following rules. Rank of an integer starts from 1. The larger the element, the larger the rank. If two elements are equal, their rank must be the same and the rank should be as small as possible okay now if you look at the constraints uh, then it says that the numbers can be negative as well as positive and the number of items are 10 to the power of 5 so this means if you want to get the problem submitted within one second then you can take an n log n solution for this now let's take an example for better understanding uh, in this example we are given an input array and we need to return the answer which will contain the rank in exactly the same order as the input array so which means that uh, the rank of this 7 will be 4, the rank of 5 will be 3, rank of 2 will be 1. And by the way, what is a rank? If we arrange all these items in non-decreasing order, that means in ascending order, then the first item coming will be getting rank 1. The second unique item coming will get a rank 2. So if you look at it, if you had sorted this A and formed a sorted array, then 2 would be the first item, second item would also be 2, right? But then they are the same items. So according to the problem statement, only unique items will get different rank. So both these 2 and 2, since they occur in the beginning, they will get rank 1. And then in the sorted array, 3 comes after 2. So this will get rank 2. And then 2 5s will get rank 3. And 2 7s will get rank 4. But then we should also return the ranks just in the order of the input array. That means what is the rank of 7 that should come in the beginning. The rank of 5 should come at index 1 and so on, right? So this is the entire problem here we need to return the rank of all the elements in the same order as the input array. So I hope this problem statement is crystal clear. Now let's look at some pointers before uh, we move on to the solution. So uh, the first point is can we sort the input array and the answer should be no because the ordering that means the index will change right. So if you can preserve the index then yes otherwise you don't. Now uh, rank for the duplicates are same. So if two items have the same numbers, then should they should get the same rank. Now let's look at the step by step requirement of the problem. In this case, given the input array, first we need to uh, do deduplication. That means remove all the duplicate items. So uh, this step can be performed by using a set. Uh, you can take an unordered set, right? But then after having done this step, we need the items in order. So ordering is needed. And therefore, if you want to do deduplication along with ordering, then you will need an ordered set for that. Okay, so we will take an ordered set to complete step one and step two together. Now, once you have got an ordered uh, item set, then what we need is uh, we need to associate rank for each of the item in such a way that we want to perform lookup now. Okay, so that if I say two, then I should get the rank of two. That means the position of two exactly in let's say O1 time. So for that reason, we will be taking a map. You can take either ordered or unordered map, but my main goal is to create a KB pair in such a way that uh, the key is the item and then the value is the associated rank. So we can just iterate through the set and uh, build the KB pair. After having done this, we will build the answer list. So our answer list will be returned. And uh, in this case, these are all the associated ranks for the original array item. So we will be iterating through each of the array item and we will do the lookup let's say for two i will look up uh, in the map and check what is the rank and i will input the rank into our answer list okay so this should be my idea let's consider a dry run where we want to maintain the rank of the unique elements so this is basically a three-step process in the first step we are given the input array and from here we will be building the unique element set how to uh, do that you can take an ordered set here so that all the items will be pushed into the ordered set which will maintain a balanced BST. So if you push all these items into a set, you will be getting just the unique items 2, 3, 5, 7. Okay. So this is step 1. Now we know that we can assign 2 with rank 1, 3 with rank 2, 5 with rank 3 and 7 with rank 4. But then we cannot uh, do a direct lookup of the items on this set and get the exact place where it is present, right? Now using a set we cannot uh, directly see 5 and say what is the rank of 5. Okay, for that to happen we need to know how many elements are to the left of 5 in order of one time and that is not possible with a set. So we will take all the unique items and push them into an ordered map. Okay, so if you push them into an ordered map the first item going is 2 will get a rank 1. Then the second item going 3 will get a rank 2. 
okay the third item going five will get a rank three and similarly the seven which is in, uh, getting as input into the ordered map will get a rank four so now you have associated ranks for with the elements and by the way ordered map also has the same red black tree implementation which is a balanced bst now having done the step two we need to return our answer array which is a separate array so we will make it of the same size as the input array because all the elements will get a rank and now iterate through the array i mean the input array and then find out what is the rank of seven using the map so you will see that the seven has four ranks so input four what is the rank of five five has three rank so write three what is the rank of two it has one rank so write one similarly uh, write for seven which will be four again write for three which will be two write for this two which will be one write for this five which will be three so this is the answer array and this is something we need to return okay so i think this uh, steps are very easy to understand now what about the complexity of the algorithm so if you talk about time complexity then uh, we are basically entering all the n elements from of the array into a set and you know that it is a balanced bst so each of the insertion will be log n and therefore for n insertions this step will be n log n uh, in the worst case all our items can be unique right so the set size will be the same as the input array size and in that case since you are uh, entering all the items of the set into an ordered map now this is also a balanced bst so this will also take a uh, log n time for each operation and since you are doing n operations in the worst case this step is also n log n and after this uh, we are iterating through all the array items one by one and we are uh, doing a lookup in the map to find out the rank associated with each item and uh, building our answer and returning it so this step can be considered as order of n considering the lookup on the map is order of one so if you add up all these time complexities the time complexity will be n log n right and if you consider about the space complexity uh, then we are taking an extra space for the set extra space for the ranks we may leave the extra space for answer because this is contained in the return type so i will say it is order of n because n is the size of the set and the map so that is why the space complexity is order of n let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number so i have provided the code in c plus plus java and python you will find it in the github link uh, now in this case i will just give you a walkthrough of the c plus plus code uh, we are given the array as input and then uh, if the array size is zero then we will not be returning anything but an empty array now according to step number one we will be uh, inserting all the array items into the set so this is done at line number 12 now in step number two we have to insert all the elements of this unique element set into our map with the corresponding rank so the rank will be initialized with one for the first item and for every unique item we will do rank plus plus and insert it into the map okay so this is step number two now in step number three we will take an answer array and then we will be iterating through all the items in the original array and pushing their corresponding ranks by looking at the ranks ordered map okay so this is step number three so i think you have understood this entire approach and i have written the comments in detail for easier understanding if you still have any doubt then please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you